Hey, can Lefty Silvestri Broadway Limited Imports? Yeah, I broke my wrist. I got a, a plate. I have a dozen screws. I have no feeling in these fingers. Let's go to our happy place. This first locomotive may hold the unofficial record for the most unique, recognizable paint schemes by a steam locomotive. The Paragon 4 Extra Added Capacitance 484 Reading T1 in N scale. At the end of World War II, the Reading Railroad needed more power. The result was the Reading T1. How many of these paint schemes do you recognize? A few of the T1's features, added onboard capacitance, die cast locomotive and chassis for all the obvious reasons, prototypical lighting, smoke with an on-off switch, rolling thunder, minimum radius nine and three quarters, and much more. And please go to the BLI website for all the specifications and pictures. T1s are at your dealers right now, and I know you're going to dig the smoke. Must be a hybrid in the house. Next up is the Paragon 4 New Haven I5 HO Hybrid. Some of the features, these are literally handmade. BLI quality, onboard capacitance, synchronized puffing smoke with chuff. Quillable whistle, easy reset button, and much more. BLI hybrids, elegant brass that actually run. Okay, the next locomotive demonstrates railroad art, and that's the Paragon 4 daylight locomotive in HO. Highlighted features, rolling thunder, added onboard capacitance, synchronized smoke, die cast boiler, die cast chassis, separately controlled lighting, headlight, Reverse light, Mars light, front number boards, rear marker lights, and much more. Quiz time. What does the GS stand for in the GS4? Some people say general services. Others say Golden State. I like Golden State. Okay, here's Curtis 
with some rolling stock. Thanks, Ken. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to another video here on the Broadway Limited YouTube channel. We got a lot of great rolling stock quickly in HO and N scale to show off today. A couple of reruns of projects we've done in the past, but we know they're going to be great additions to your layout anyways. Uh, the first one we're going to show off is the AAR 70 ton three bay hopper in HO scale. Uh, these hoppers have new road names, new paint schemes for your layout, and they're going to be great additions. And they fit into a wide range of eras from the late 40s all the way up until the early 80s. So they fit just about any era that you're modeling right now on your layout. The second HO scale rolling stock we've got is the HO scale cryogenic tank cars. Now, for those of you who don't know much about the prototype of these cars, these cars were the tank cars that carried very, very cold liquids, like liquid nitrogen and a few others for the railroads. And they were commonly found in around the late 70s, early 80s primarily, but they were very useful for the railroads and they look great on any merchandise or manifest uh, freight train on your model railroad. So we've got a variety of paint schemes out. You can find the full list on our website, broadway-limited.com. And of course, we've got those in N scale as well. So the same paint schemes you see on HO, we've got them in N scale. Again, you can find them on broadway-limited.com. The cool thing about our rolling stock is we offer them as individuals or in packs. So you can get the four pack of hoppers on our website. You can find the pricing and details there. And each hopper has a different road name. So you're getting a different hopper in each of your four packs. And same thing with the tank cars. You'll get two of the same paint scheme, but different road names on those cars. So you can mix and match into your trains how you see. Um, and end scale, we, we do the same thing, two packs and four packs, but we have only two pieces of rolling stock that have two packs. We have the end scale cryogenic tank cars, like I just mentioned. But the next one that you'll see is very fun. It's our sound stock cars in end scale. Got a variety of different sounds in these stock cars from a variety of different railroads. We've got pig sounds, cow sounds, sheep, mules, and we've got a few fantasy schemes in there too for fun, such as Halloween, 4th of July, and the holidays season as well. So perfect additions for your railroad, even if it's only a seasonal addition to your railroad. Sorry I missed everybody at the last couple of shows. Looking forward to Train Fest this year, which I hear is coming back. Thank you very much. You guys are the, are the greatest customers. I appreciate it so much, and happy railroading.